Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. I got to go out to a basement waterproofing fix recently, and the homeowner has a situation where they had already installed a interior basement waterproofing system in a house back in the 80s, but they're getting a lot of seepage in the corners. I wanna show all of you out there what we have done to correct that seepage, so this could be something you could do yourself or maybe talk to your local contractor about. Stay tuned. You can see you got mold here. They didn't even uh, put a corner joint. They're missing a corner joint here. And this wasn't even caulked? No. Oh, it's got it in there pretty good now. So, it's the only bad thing about these wall panels. You can see how they bow mm -hmm. right here. All this is moldy. You got leaks coming through. These pins that they put in, these are basically uh, Christmas tree fasteners that they use. So this is, was installed in the 80s. So we're believing yet. So what about the lifetime warranty? What happened to that? Um, well, it's a new homeowner. They just bought the house. Ah, the warranty's not transferable. And then the, the pump, which is right here, which isn't sealed, doesn't appear to be sealed. The discharge line goes under the trench to that one and a half inch line, then goes up and out. Is that correct? Yep. So the biggest thing is they're getting uh, water in the corners, which is what we're here to fix. Is that also correct? Yep. And if you look at the sump pump, this is dry. It's got cobwebs in there. Oh, is, can I take it off? Is yeah. It? yeah, it's just, you just got to it's, it's a little difficult. Manhandle? Yeah, I don't know if I can do that, Dom. You might need to do that for me. <laughs> we might need to pry bar. That's fine. I just gotta use my man hands. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just had it out. There you go. Come on, be diesel, Dom. Diesel! That's so what we call an ingenuity. Be, in, be ninja nuity, Dom. <laughs> yeah, you like that ninja? Yeah, I like that. That was good. Got some ninja nuity. Oh my goodness, there's no water in here at all. Uh, there yeah. will be. Humidifier. Somebody got a flashlight? Yeah. Not me. <laughs> the D Hughes. The D Hughes gonna run some water in yeah, there, Mulu. Build the cobwebs. Uh is that even perforated? Uh the very, very bottom. Oh, and the bottom is perforated. Yep. Oh my goodness. That's a real, really set. good system they installed there. Let me back over to here, guys. What what are we doing over here? Cameron, tell me what we're doing over here. Well, we basically cut it up, cut the whole board off about 12 inches off the ground, shot up plastic behind it, like you can see right here. So our vapor barrier, our 12 mil vapor barrier was put up and then you put a wall board over that vapor barrier, is yeah, that right? that's correct. Why did you do that? What's the, what, what was here that wasn't here before? Uh, well, they didn't have um, our vapor barrier there either. And basically, as you can see how they have the fasteners right here. Yeah. Water was able to come out of those. And when we drill in it, we put caulk in those to help seal them off as well. Uh huh. So, yeah. Well, the nice thing about a vapor barrier in a basement situation is you could basically run this a minimum of 100 linear feet without a seam. Is that right? Yeah. Because it's, it's a 20 by 100. Yeah. The, these wall panels, which is okay, but the thing is, everywhere you've got a joint, on these wall panels, everywhere there's an attachment on these wall panels is a potential intrusion of water. This is why we like the vapor barrier. So this vapor barrier free hangs from up there. So the only snap point is your Hilti GX3, you apply it a washer and a nail at the top. So if this is above dirt, you're never going to have water intrusion at that height because all the water is going to be at dirt level and down. So this way, what the homeowner and everybody's thinking is that since the corners are the only part that's the weakest part, if we do a continuous vapor barrier all the way to here, that should force the water down into the trench and go to our cobweb dry sump pump over there. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Say hi to your mamas. Hi, mom. <laughs>